Good morning. <laughs> Actually, it's like noon. It's not even morning anymore. But we got to bring hay to the animals, and uh, I've got hay here. That's okay. I'm so handsome. So let's hop on the loader and bring some hay to the animals. I bet they'll like that. We had our first freezing temperatures. And uh, so the, most of the nutrients out of the grass have receded and they need some supplement. All right, ladies, I've opened up the gate. You stay right there. I'm gonna go get the hay. Don't you move. I'm watching you. Don't you run out here. kind of chilly today, but the sunshine makes it not so bad. Just trying to find the start to this bale twine here. I gotta unravel it. Where is the start of this thing? Oh, there it is. It's underneath. Unravel this. Okay, one last pull. And we're off. Now, take this, throw it over the fence to go into the trash so my animals don't get all tangled up in it. Let's pop this bale on the whatever it's called. I'm excited, you know what's happening. Yummy, yummy, hey. Okay, so I realized the bottom of it, the outer like two inches is very good. So I'm gonna pick it back up, pull off that bottom and then set it back down. Wow, was easy. I just picked it up and it fell off, so sweet. Besides a little bit of hay blowing in my face, no big deal. Woo! That hair is crazy. No? Animals are over there in that field where they've been for about a week. They're loving it, but time for some hay. Woo! -hoo. They'll find it. I won't get them. When they come back over here to get water, they'll find the hay. In fact, that's why they're standing right there, because they saw the hay, so. What are you girls thinking? What are you thinking, girl? Hey, Gracie. Yeah. Happy sheep. Big bales of wool. Are you happy? Happy, happy, happy. Cheek, cheek scratches. Cheek scratches for everyone. Not you, pancake. You're too far away. Can't reach you. I've explained it before, but not with actual hay in it. So the big animals they eat from up above here, you know, on the side and stuff. And then the sheep, they go from underneath here. And they stick their heads up here and they just pull it down and eat it. It uh, saves me from losing a lot of hay because normally in a round bale, my sheep they'll just jump right in and jump on top of it and uh, they'll poop and pee on it. I believe there's a lot of hobby farmers like myself who have sheep and goats who experience the same problem that, man, I just cannot keep my sheep and goats from jumping on my hay and peanut pooping on it and you lose and losing like half of it. Well, go ahead and build yourself one of these up off the ground. I think I put these things like one foot apart with some joist hangers here to help hold the weight because bales are really heavy and uh, it works great. This is my second, third year using it, and uh, I'm grateful for it. Hey, yesterday in the rain, I put up the catwalk. I had to fix it a little bit here and open that door up. He hasn't been on it in a little while. 
it was a nice rainy day, so I figured why not fix the catwalk. We've got kittens up there now. What do you think, buddy? You like being up there? And the overhang hangs just over it, so no it doesn't get rained on. They can just walk along it. Be outside without being rained on. And had to fix this corner too. And then we got these guys. Today in the sun, I put out hay and uh, probably tomorrow I'm going to start the process of building a new whale cage and I'm going to do it up in the barn lot. So I'll see you tomorrow. One thing I forgot before we go tomorrow is uh, I got new bedding for the for the pig and for the geese so I better give that to them. I'm going to say hello all four little kitties. Hi cute little kitties. We're going to invade your house tomorrow. We're going to turn that into a a quail coop. Boy, you guys are getting big and cute. <laughs> Boy, you guys are cute. Got my wagon full of bedding. It's a mixture of straw slash hay. I mean, let's be real, it's mainly hay. That's not good, so I'm gonna use this bedding. It's not as uh, good as straw is because hay tends to be flat and straw tends to be round. I can't, I can't talk when the geese are talking apparently. The geese never let me talk. You know, let's go get them some food so they shut up. Okay. Okay. There you go. Eat that and be still. Where the heck did you guys come from? Did you just jump the fence? Well. That's crazy. Guess I gotta fix that too. <laughs> okay. Hey, Peanut. You enjoying all that nice grass out there? Yeah. Got my stick holding up the lid. That sure looks secure. Hopefully it doesn't fall on my head. That's done. Let's be honest, I don't even know if they can use this thing. Like, I don't know much about it. I don't know much about geese, but every time I come out here, they're usually just sleeping right there next to the fence. Like, in the wind and the rain, I never see them in here. Maybe when they start laying eggs, they'll start going in here and then realize that, oh, hey, it's warm in here. It's nice. No wind, no rain, no cold. What do I know? I'm just a pretend farmer. But they don't know that. They just know me as the guy that brings them food. Bedding in your house now. Come enjoy it whenever you want. We're gonna give the rest of it to Peanut the pig. Peanut will use it, so we'll throw it in his house. The lid is up, and time to put the bedding in. The goats came to help. <laughs> Nieces and nephews came to visit. They're gonna ride the goats. <laughs> Betsy just lays down. That's Betsy? Yep. Peanuts house is full of bedding. Okay, see you tomorrow. And it's tomorrow. Okay. Got my loader up here. Ready to throw out a bunch of trash out of the barn loft and we're gonna we're gonna start to clean out the barn loft for the quail. Let's do it. And I've got my wife here to help me because why not recruit your wife to help you with physical labor? All right, climbing up there, babe. Look at like a handles or something. Yeah. Okay, so we don't use this barn loft for anything other than 
filling it with straw for the cats to sleep in. It's got random wood and junk around. You know, just, just trash. So we're gonna clean all this trash out of here. And then uh, we're gonna build a quail coop. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. The kittens are here helping. Okay, here's a here's a brief before. And hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll get a good after. So as you can tell my barn's a little crooked. But that's okay, the floor's level. We need to build a new barn. Okay, we're gonna take a lunch break and we figure this is a good time to end the video. I'm not gonna make you watch us clean everything out of this. It's just a bunch of dust, dirt, and hay, and poop, and lots of more poop, and lots more poop. So, we'll see you next week. Uh, like and subscribe, and I hope you leave this video better than you came. Bye. Bye. See the animals walking down the field. They're walking back to the back field, eat some grass. And then flower, just plain the leaves. And a wife and I sitting on top of our loader.